CVTV Live at the CVX Expo 23 floor, Scottsdale, Arizona, joining us right now from Buy Sales. We have Bob Stone. Bob is the Enterprise Sales Director. Must keep you pretty busy, Bob. Yes. Thanks for having me. <laughs> of course, we're happy to have you. How's the show been so far? So far, so good. It's okay. been uh, pretty good traffic. Uh, Food's been good. <laughs> I, I can't listen. I can't complain about the food, Bob. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys are known LTE 5G hardware yep. for private networks. Tell us a little bit about the company. So, uh, to your point, uh, BuySells is a manufacturer of LTE and uh, 5G small cells. Okay. Uh, we do private networks. Um, we've been doing this now uh, eight, eight plus years. And we've got many networks deployed across the U.S. and globally. It's pretty impressive and definitely forward thinking. Uh, what are some of the use cases for private cell networks? You know, the use cases for, for private LTE, private cellular networks, I don't want to limit it to LTE because now yeah, LTE and 5G, um, are, they're pretty limitless. From anywhere from, you know, security cameras in a, in a parking garage or machine automation in, in a warehouse right. to digital divide, getting, getting uh, you know, students online during COVID when, when they, they can't go to school anymore. Anymore, uh, to smart city applications. We've got several networks that started out in, in COVID trying to just get the, stu the students back online, but then it, it grew into a citywide network deployment that now has you know, smart city applications like uh, um, uh, security cameras, traffic light monitoring, uh, smart trash cans, uh, you, you name it. Uh, even, uh, even police cruisers on the private network okay. and and, uh, and, and forward, uh, some of our networks are even going to include uh, police body cams wow. to going, going over the private network. So it's, there's uh, limitless use cases for it. No, that's fantastic. I think a lot of people maybe are wondering, why a private cellular network? Why not just like a, a carrier network? The main, well, there's a couple of reasons to, of, for doing private versus the carrier network. The carriers build their networks, but they have full control over it. And for one, when you're using the carrier, your network, you're paying your data minutes. So when you're trying to use some of those smart uh, smart city applications, like I mentioned, yeah. you're using a lot of data, a, lo a lot of a lot of video, a lot. Of, and so you, as you're racking up the data, you are you're you're racking up all the uh, 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 the, the data minutes over the carrier network, which you're being charged for. So a lot of uh, like cities and and others have may, might have like a grant to, to build a network or or use it in a, as a capex but don't have the ongoing opex where a private network you build it it's yours and you have full control over it the the carrier network they're running it you don't have control over you know what goes on your network or who gets bandwidth or or where that traffic goes so there's many reasons to build your own network versus using a a, a, a public network well that makes a lot of sense uh, let me ask you why should you build a private cellular network over uh different competing technology like what's the you know a lot of the competing technologies it, and really it it boils down to years ago there was the, the only thing you had access to for a private network were unlicensed frequencies like 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and they're they're not secure they're you know they, you can hack a Wi-Fi system so you you really can't build a mission critical network over these you know proprietary and Wi-Fi based technologies so the only other option until recently um, was the carrier uh, cellular network on that was using LTE and 5g technologies well now there are frequencies available for private use and you can build a carrier grade LTE and 5g network on your own so now you've got the ability to have that same quality of network that the carrier network offers but without but more of a at a cost point of what you'd be expect to see on a more IT solution like a, like a Wi-Fi based. Fantastic. Um, kind of looking forward. What else can we expect from BuySells in the future? Oh, continued innovation. It's you know where I mean 5G is all the all the buzz today, um, but 
it, it keeps going. You, every day we need more bandwidth. That you see people walking down the phone, uh, down the street, staring at their phones, and whatever they're doing, there's video. It needs more capacity, more and more capacity, and so they, the technology must keep up. It must keep coming, and that's that's where we come into play. Now that sounds fantastic. If people want more information on buy cells and some of the stuff that you guys have going on, where can they go? You can go to our website, uh, buycells.com, B-A-I-C-E-L-L-S, and start from there. Thanks for the time. You bet. Thank you. Uh, of course, yeah. And once again, this has been CVTV with Buy Cells. We're live at the CVX Expo 23. Take care.